Welcome back, Seth Pling here. Today I've got a double feature for you guys. That's right, two things in one video. The first thing is a little bowling minigame concept that was suggested to me through a YouTube message. And the other thing is a maze generator that was also suggested to me through an email. Uh, this is an MC edit filter and you can download this, but I'll get to that in a bit. First I want to show you the little bowling, bowling minigame concept. So this was suggested to me by David Rocklin1. And sorry, David Rock in one. And uh, and basically, there's fireballs. This is the bowling ball. Those are the pins. And you just kind of come down here and try and knock as many out as you can. You get, you know, it's just like bowling. You get two shots. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the other one. <laughs> yeah. So I got a score of nine there. Pretty good. Uh, almost as fair. Uh, in order to come over here and reset it, there's just some mob spawners. When you get close enough, they'll trigger and they will reset all the pins. So very simple. And then the bowling ball here also just resets when you come over near it. And yeah, there's there's no redstone or anything built around this one for a scoring system or anything. Uh, I guess my score would be 8 here because I displaced 8 of them. Now you got to make sure that you clear out there's sometimes some of them will stick around after. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there we go. It'd be hard to hit the right one. Sometimes some will stick around because uh, when a fireball has a, has its velocity set to zero, sometimes it can come to a rest even if it's knocked off to the side. So, yeah, and then uh, if you want to try with bow and arrow, you can also try that. There's no hard and fast rules around this. Mostly just for your entertainment. Something for you to try out if you'd like. Uh, just a little experimental mini game. I thought it was a cool idea when it was when it was sent to me. Man, I can't. So <laughs> uh, Jeb, fix your game. <laughs> All right. So that's that's that. Uh, if you want to download download this, there's a little uh, download link for a world in the video description. Now the other thing is this maze generator. Got a suggestion from DT Shadler. Uh, an email message, and I thought it was a, I thought it was an interesting challenge to try out, just just to make a mage generator. Never done it before, so here we go. Uh, the cool thing about the algorithm that I used to to make this, and I I actually wrote my own algorithm. I don't know if other people have done it before the same way, but the cool thing about it is if you pick any two points in the maze, say this point, and I don't know this point right here. There's only one path to get from that point to that point. Uh, there's no loops in this thing. There's no paths that split up and then come back together. There's only one path through it all. So what that means is uh, you'll notice that there's no exits on this maze by default. It doesn't generate an entrance or an exit. And that means that you can just punch your own entrance and exit anywhere you want in the maze. And there will always be a path between those two points. And there's always only going to be one path. So it's not going to be like super easy. Uh, it's just a. Uh, it's actually I was kind of surprised at the difficulty level of the uh, of the mazes was quite moderate. It was. It's not a direct path ever to get from one place to another, but it's never too terribly hard. Uh, of course, you can replace the leaves with anything. It, it creates leaves by default, but uh, the leaves are actually kind of cool. I mean, it, obviously, it looks like a he hedge maze, but also. <laughs> the fact that you can kind of see through parts of it and, I don't know, it just makes for a little interesting element to the maze that you don't normally have. But yeah, you can replace that material with anything else. And you could also, if you wanted, make the entrance, make one or more entrances on the edge of the maze and have the exit be in the middle. Uh, whatever you want, but this will be useful for, you know, map makers, adventure mappers, I don't know, maybe... Maybe you want to make a, a minotaur map, <laughs> where you have to, where you're the minotaur and you're trying to kill people as they go through a maze. Uh, but yeah, you can create a new maze each time, new random maze. For bigger mazes, it'll take a lot longer. I, I didn't tune the, uh, I didn't optimize the the efficiency of the algorithm too terribly much, but it doesn't take long to create something like this or a little bit bigger. I have a couple other mazes over there. Anyway, thanks to uh, DT Shadler for suggesting this. And thanks to David Rockin for suggesting the bowling minigame. Again, you can download both the MC Edit filter here and the, uh, the, the world for this from the video description. Hope you like one, one or both, and thanks for watching.